the red bands or our small bands that we have in Australian kettlebells are our third entry into the power bands, uh, giving you sort of a medium sort of resistance or assistance. And once again, showing you that when you're using the red band, this is going to give you quite a nice amount of assistance to actually get yourself up into that top position on your chin up. It probably helps have a bit of a step then rather than trying to do it the way I did it. And yeah, I can actually perform chin ups for quite a long time there because that's giving me heaps of assistance. So for the guys or girls that maybe can do a couple of body weight chins and are looking to, you know, take themselves up to that next level, the red band's going to give you that sort of level of assistance. Now, the secondary use or another use is performing the strength training movements that we've been talking about. So I'd recommend this for guys that have got a reasonable amount of strength. So for doing all your pulling or conversely your pushing exercises, that's going to be pretty intense for most guys. You're looking at sort of getting up to about the 40 kilo mark with that sort of level uh, of resistance. Now one of the alternative uses that you could use this band for is actually helping people develop a more superior hip drive through a swing. So you can, as you can see I've got it attached to a kettlebell here and when I'm up in that top position the band is pulling it back down making me work a hell of a lot harder through that hip drive. So the red band, if you're looking for guys to increase your resistance through your pushing or pulling movements, or you know if you're pretty good at chin-ups but you want to get those couple extras, definitely the red band's going to help guys and girls. Um, yeah, or as I said, if you want to improve your hip power, these are just a few alternatives for your red bands. Check them out.